I am Lady Starlight and I'm talking to Rockin' the Seams. So I met Gaga um, at the St. Jerome, which was the bar I was go-go dancing at for, God, I think, God, it was over, it was like two years. Um, and we had, you know, created this really awesome scene there of people. The wonderful thing about St. Jerome is that it was just really, we didn't, you know, we're just like, fuck it, let's create our own scene and of like people who are real and accepting and there was like kind of square people that go there and a little bit of frat boys, but they were like cool. So they, they got it and they loved it. So it was just like not opposing place. People didn't go there dressed up and it's like people just went for it. You know what I mean? All kinds of people and we loved it. But most of all, the music was great. Um, so I met Gaga. She came in, it was her birthday, and you know, immediately she just always had that sparkle. Um, and you're just like, oh, who's that? And so we were, you know, she was there and she came up to me and she loved it and she put a dollar bill on my panties. <laughs> you know, she tells that story. It really, it really is true. <laughs> and um, you know, immediately it was like, oh, cool. You know, she had a cool look. She had, you know, dark hair we had a similar kind of look and she just had such a great attitude it was loving it and you know we just kind of she was a lady I was a lady and the rest is history. The way that I've influenced Gaga isn't like any particular fashion like her fashion and her look is entirely her own creation and but what I think was important that I gave to her as a friend was just the confidence to say, fuck it, just like go all the way. And the more offensive, the more, you know, that kind of reaction you get from somebody, that the better. That's the sign, yes, that that's the right look. <laughs>